Welcome back to my full playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, it's been some time, thank you for your patience. I got very ill and I was unable to record for a bit. All of the videos that were coming out in the meantime was pre-recorded, so I'd done those before I got sick. So if you were like, why is he recording these games and not Baldur's Gate 3? That's why, those were all pre-records. Uh, in this one we've got some Astarian time, some Gale time, and we take on a powerful wizard. I really enjoyed this one, it was a nice comeback to the game. I'm gonna skip through some combat situations that we get into early on because I just want us to to, like ease back in with some story as we continue on our journey through act three remember to hit like to let youtube know that you want to see these videos when they come up and then when the next part comes up it should appear for you let's begin who wants to chat in here will look at everyone just hanging out it's like a sleepover catch a faint odor one without any discernible source Wet ash, dried mud, and a hint of sulfur. Mizora channeled the hell's essence into you. You'll never be rid of their scent. I hope. I pray that you'll show more care <gasps> in the future. Am I getting called out for having some fun? I just remembered everything that we did in the last video. Oh dear. Sure, he just wanted to call me out. Did you want something? If not, I'm perfectly happy to just gaze upon you a while. Sounds good. Hey, baby, missed you. Anything new to say? Nothing. Well, always good to check in. It was good for me. Hi. Was it good for you? Not even a hello. Wow, Will, like, can we have a moment, please? You don't have to be <laughs> judging me over my shoulder, but let's be honest, it was stupendous. I thought as much. You moaned like a dragon thrice struck with a broadsword. You turned wow. the pain of the damned into impossible pleasure. You'll never be the same. All right. Okay. Well, that's fair. Anyone else got anything to say? Hey, soldier. About my uh, extracurricular activities. Hmm? Astarian? Hello, my dear. Nothing, okay. We'll probably be heading to Cazador's very soon, won't we? All right, sleep time. Getting a bit low on the old camp supplies. You sleep. Oh. But the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb your rest. What is Get that? the hells away from me! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. Oh, how did you find us? Master Cazador has known where Astarian was this entire time. He knew he would return. The right. The master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. The right of profane ascension will be mine. And he won't see a scrap of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the ascendant, and then I am going to kill him! This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge. And you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual. But if any of the bearers of the scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the rite himself. He needs them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. I'm worried about Astarian with this power-hungry vibe he's on. Also so happy with the 
outfit we bought him. Finally, after 80 hours or however long it's been, happy with the Starion's clothes. Um, I'm just gonna keep quiet. It's up to you, dude. Enough! Enough talk and enough lies. You were always weak, brother. We don't follow weak. Okay. This is our only chance to be free, to end centuries of slavery. You will not ruin it, Astarian. Why is there suddenly four of you? I just, I didn't feel like I could back his play there. I don't fully understand what it's the ramifications of it yet. You know, if we make him play into that and, oh, Karlak, why are you wearing this? Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to lose him to the dark side, so I don't really want to like encourage it, but maybe this was the wrong thing. I'm not entirely sure yet. What a mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. Hmm. Was it true what they said? You gave up fighting him long ago. You don't know what it was like. There was no way out. Once, in the first decade of my slavery, I found a darling boy who I couldn't bear to bring back to him, so I ran. Instead of hurting that sweet man. After Cazador caught me, it sealed me, starving, inside a dusty tomb, all on my own for an entire year. Jeez. A year of silence. Months of scratching my hands raw, trying to carve my way out. More months of not moving at all. Months wishing only for death. So don't you ever judge me for doing what Cazador ordered. I wasn't judging you. I'm sorry that happened. Nothing can make up for that. Not even Cazador's death. <laughs> but to steal his life's work. <laughs> that might be something. All right, you've you've charmed me. Let's whatever you want. You want to be the man? I've got a long you can be the man. I'll back your play. You've convinced me. Swift as my feet can carry me. How do I stop casting growth? There we go. All right, can I get some shut eye now, please? Better not be cursed. I need some rest. Thanks. Bum, bum, bum. The Starion, put your outfit back on. All is ash and neat. Right, gang, let's go. At the ready. The Gazette reckons Lord Gortash is the second coming of Baldurin. Horse cack. Now, 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 now. All right, what do we have? The Night Song, the Bookseller, the Murder Targets, and there's Cazador's Palace. I mean, we seem to have been going along this line and it's the closest dot to us. Why don't we head over to Cazador's and make it a Starian day? I'm going the wrong way. It's this way. Right. Bloom Ridge Park. Little tea party happening. The 
there something going on here? Hmm? I don't like it. Here? Careful. I smell an ambush. In this park? Are you sure it's not the flowers you're smelling? You may be allergic. But better safe than sorry, I suppose. Me with hay fever. Okay, survival checks. Well, survivalists, we are not. What's happening then? How many die today? How many die tomorrow? <gasps> A little, little, little scratch, but sparky, but smaller. Why don't I have animal talk? Come here. You're literally the scratch model run, scaled run, down. Run, 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 run. Oh, friend. Hello. Um, why are you running around in circles? Because running is brilliant. Your owner's calling for you. Stop running. But, but then I won't be running anymore. Running will feel even better tomorrow if you take a little break for the day. I mean, that's like great advice with so many things. Let's see. 15, just to convince that. Oh, it's a good start. Stop running to run better. Okay. See you later! Home, 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 home! What a perfect month it's been. Right, darling? Hi. What are you guys talking about? I really don't think I've ever felt this way about someone before. I'm sorry for Wendell. He does get a touch, uh, over-effusive about our courtship. Pay him no heed. It's like, I'm like, guys, can you chill? What? Oh, assassins. I still remember our first date in this park, you know? Hiding. Can, and I can talk, can I just walk up and be like, what are you doing? Tap them on the shoulder. Let me save it. Where are we? In the park, heading up to the palace. I don't think I have to go this way, but let's try and talk to them. We redden our steel by the light of day in his name. But you are not the lamb for our slaughter. It seems you've won Lady Oren's favor. Oh. Join us in this act of slaughter in Baal's name. A murder target? Wait. We're not going to slaughter the innocent. Then you betray Oren and Baal himself. Your blood will spill for this. One of their targets must have been here. <gasps> wow, that guy, like, said he loved her and he just straight up dipped when she got stabbed. Not what you'd want from a partner, really, is it? He said, bye. Let this murder be his sacrament. Well, well. Look what we have here. All right, dispatched with that ambush. Odd one, I wonder why they did that. Where are we going? We have... Cazador's... This way, perhaps. So we're sort of playing along with Orin. We've said we'll get the other ring, the other infinity gem, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, what's this? This looks impressive. But I feel like we have to draw the line at killing innocents. Apothecary. Some wizards showing off. And then what is this place that I'm looking at?
clank. Oh, it's Sorceress Sundry. This is where we want Gale with us, right? Starion, can you uh, get rid of that? Whilst we're here, never mind. Let's bring our boy out. Need to find a way. Who do we leave behind? Is the thing. Mm, maybe Carlac. There's a Starion day after all. So where's Carlac to ask her to wait? Have a day off. You've been carrying us for so long. What's on your mind? Stay here. Really? Really, really? Oh, fuck. Have a bath. What's on your mind? Do you think she can just get into cold water and it just heats it up like a hot tub? All right, come on. With pleasure. Oh my gosh, look at your health and your levels. Do I really have to level you up? Well, Minster's not around, so it might as well. I really just want you for a conversation. I don't want to... Oh my gosh, okay. Alright. Leveled up. Grabbed a bunch of random spells. Here goes nothing. Let's go to your bookstore that you've been waiting so long to see. It's Companion... The Companion Special. Some Gaelness, some Astarianness. Astarian's like, I thought it was my day. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Hmm. Should I tell you? I don't know. Look, who are you trying to get at? Laroakin, the wizard who sets out the contract. He owns this place. And his little page boy inside knows how to get to him. Laroakin said it'd be easy money. A smash and grab. Get in, get the night song, go. Turns out his little relic was in a temple of Shah. Beneath an army of goblins. Would never have taken my people in if I'd known. I can't bring them back. But I can make Laroakin cough up. Especially if you found the relic. Well, where's my share then? Look, it wasn't a relic, it was an Asima. An Asima? Hells. If I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. Kidnapping costs more than theft. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. I don't know if that's true. So I might have to just say, piss off. To be frank. <laughs> Your intimidation has no truck with me, boy. I ought to knock some sense into you. But you know what? I'm too goddamn tired. If she's out there, I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. Good luck. What can it do once it's extracted? Nothing good can come of it unless it is contained. Well, Roland, what are you doing here? You, what are you doing here? It's literally, <laughs> I could say the same to you, and I just did. What are you doing here? This is uh, my apprenticeship. It has not been what I expected. Master Laroakan is um, a difficult man. He's consumed by his pursuit of the Night Song. 
I haven't learned a thing, and I fear it'll stay that way. Why you're bloody? Lucky escape, given Laroican's reputation. He'd have little of value to teach you. <clears throat> but never mind that. What can I do for you? Well, um... Do people ask about the night song? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rower can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. Let me think for a second. Let me see what this mission actually is, because I don't want to... I would not give up the night song, right? So we have find the night song. Uh, he's still looking for the night song, collecting payment. Night song decided to camp with us. We should see what the wizard in Baldur's Gate wants with her. Okay. Little crab. How can I help you? All right, I do have information. Then head upstairs and be careful. Something terrible might happen if you're not paying attention. Okay. Upstairs I go. Look, a bookseller. She can point us to the top. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroakin's time, reconsider. AI customer Let service. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Right. What's, uh... Uh... What? My knowledge? How do we know which one to go through? Oh. Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Okay, next. The night song is a priceless ruby no. from a realm beyond our own. Yes. The night song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. Oh. The night song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer. You know what's funny is I was gonna went before I saw the beasts. plaques. I was just gonna pick this one on vibe alone because it's very similar to all of the colors that were down there and around her at the time. I wonder what happens if you go through the wrong one. Oh, that's a big apple. Hold very still, Nicola. Uh, Crank's aim is much improved, but uh, still leave something up to chance. Yes, sir. Feed a family for a week with that thing. All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. That is. McClaw, you may go. I wonder how many people really did that back in the day, the old apple on the head. You have to be nuts. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I see no night song. Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand. Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time. Well, what do you want with her? Her. Huh. Fascinating. You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? You speak as though you've seen the Night Song. <sighs> Alas, I've paid for a good deal of very privileged information. Now I await the results of the generous contract I've commissioned. Answer now, or see what happens when fools misuse my valuable time. Listen, you Rivendell reject, don't be threatening me when I've come here to have a chat, okay? So I can deceive you, but why do you want her so badly? I'm... Growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? 
Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. Very little of his soul left to him. A shite warlock? Mm. How Combined good can it be? A celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. Hmm. Right, so a clever contraption. Let me guess, like Catherick Thorne before you, you wish to become a mortal. It didn't work out for poor Catherick, did it? He was a fool. A desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and god. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. Ah. <sighs> Well, I don't think I'm down for that, I have to say. That's quite the lofty ambition. I intend to achieve greatness. And I intend to do it for a long, long, long time. Very good. Well, I'm tempted to say, like, I'll give her the satisfaction of ripping you to shreds, but I feel like he would have planned for this. He'll have some trap in place for them. So maybe we try and deceive. She was killed in the temple. Perhaps? I, I mean, we're not going to work with this guy, right? So let's just fake her death. With a 15, nah. Oh, baby. Dead? That cannot be. She, it, is immortal. A god. Well, not anymore, thanks to me. I don't know if I want to annoy him. <laughs> she was selenite held by Sharon's. Her death was inevitable. Is that meant to be some consolation? She, it was the key to my immortality. How can this be? How can this be? Shit! Oh. oh well. It sucks to suck, eh? I want to have a word. Your terrible tidings have cost me everything! My grand design! Dash to ruins! This always happens to me! Oh, poor baby. Well, anything else up here? Anything of worth? Hmm. Got some ornate letters, apparently. Can I read it? I've responded out of respect to my counselor, Balthazar, who advises me you may prove a loyal ally in the coming fight. I understand you wish to know about the soul cage which binds the night song to me. Details I cannot and will not provide, but the magic itself is necromantic in nature. Designed by my aforementioned counselor. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if we can... Oh, I can't go to camp from here. I was going to say, I wonder if we can tell her about this. Let's see what she says. Where are you? Over here. There is a wizard looking for you. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? A wizard's looking for you, quite literally. I am my character, you know. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Well... He put a bounty out for your capture. Let them come, and let them find me. 
Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yet, it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. Okay. Well, I did deceive him into thinking you're dead. So... <laughs> the weasel outweaseled. Well done, my friend. But Dame Aelin's deeds are great. Her presence, present. Sooner or later, he will discover that the daughter of Saluna lives. Let us travel to his chambers, his lair. Okay. We will see him undone in the style of the dead, unburied Ketherick Thorm. She's like, I'm coming with you. well done, but we'll do I'd things like to get a few my licks way. In myself. Oh, sorry? My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hi, we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Hmm. Hi, we indeed. Hi, we. Let us hi, we. Look at you, so cool with your wings. Golly gosh. Um, I guess I say I forgot something. Oh. Here to say psych? Roland. What have we here? A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the night song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My God, the night song is a person. Uh, by my honor, it's you. My dear, I thought you were. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Oh, my apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. I asked our mutual friend here to make an introduction that I might get to meet the famed daughter of Saluna. Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? Oh, uh, you are mistaken. I came to stop you. My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Astarian disapproves. Give me one good reason, Magus. Get with the program, dude. Why I should not strike you down where you stand. Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. Well... It's over for you, wizard. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. 
You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Once I've taken control of the Asima, she must go directly into the caging runes. No, Master Larokan. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the Night Song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish, but never under your tutelage. Yeah, Roland. Put gonna... your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you. If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> oh, face us, charlatan! We who detest you so! Mamadons! Imperatum! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool scene. Ow. Okay, so what do we got? Elementals. Alright, that's a lot of damage. Um, okay. Right. Cool. Let's get out of here. Jeez. Now I wonder if taking him down will sort of immediately end the situation with all of the elementals and stuff. But we've got to get everyone on the same page here first. And get away. Oh. Okay. Down you go. Get away, get away, get away. Poor Gale. Then he came out to buy a book. Oh, it's a lot of damage. This is so much. I've got to believe that getting in here and taking him out is going to be the best idea for us at this point, I think. That's fine. We can still do it. Oh, it's big hits. He's almost done. Two health? Oh my god, someone blow on him. there. Just finish him. There we go. No, they're still up. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Gale is inspired. Well, let me... Oh, I mean, we're surrounded. If I get you up, it's not going to do much for us. I feel like we're just slightly out of the way with this one. Um, let's get the Spirit Guardians in with Radiant. help him up rather than just shield the body come on big hits you are the night song after all critical miss wonderful 
Right. Help him. Finally. Take you. There we go. Wakey, wakey. Use those on you. Time to kill. Careful, Roland. I haven't saved you all these times to lose you now. <laughs> Come on. Ah, yes. I think Shadow Heart rides around on my back sometimes. I'm dead. Whilst I'm an owl there, obviously. How many times the others went down and I just instantly died? Can't give up. Not now. How's that fair? Take your, your are too much to bear. Welcome back. Take your, your Oh! I will rush again. Sorry? Sorry? Can we bring her back? Because. Sorry? Let's see what happens, I guess, if you win and she dies. Can we, like, portal you down or something? Gale triggers the orb in his chest, destroying everything and everyone in a wide radius. Radius. Probably not the move here. Right, well done, mate. It's like, I'm rusty. I haven't been out in 80 hours. How are we going to get him? There, we're gonna have to go up after him, aren't we? Got to press on. Shadow Heart just casually on 73 of 73 whilst everyone around is dying. Such a wonderful beast. Alright, go get some action. Let's light them up. Now, what are you dealing with? Poison and psychic resistance, right? Got him. Is he dead? Never a dull moment. Uh, sorry. Ah, she's good. You who would see me caged. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty. Fully a Batman reference. Even said broken. Breaking the bat, bang. Um Awesome. We did it. Wonder if the gods are watching me. That helped. You happy? Speak up. The firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel sadness. Why? Well, what kind of sadness? A gripping in the chest. As though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, uh, Paladin's fatigue, no doubt. Hmm. You were excellent in battle. 
as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. And you, tiefling. You did not embarrass yourself. I will catch my breath. Then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Well. Where's the body? I want to see what loot he had. Over there is a pile of ash behind you, apparently. Wait, why is he... Open up. His body's, like, out there, but... Okay. Um, the Despair of Athkatla. One bonus to spell save. And some rare clothing. I guess I'll give that to Astarian, but I like the clothes you have on. Anything else around here? Need looty loots. Hey, Roland, good job, bud. The Rurikin is dead. The bastard is dead. Are you alright? I am. Now that the bastards and bits. Roland has recently discovered the word bastard. The Rurikin was a cruel and vicious man. By day, I'd tend the shop, but at night, he'd fire the most nonsensical questions at me. And for every one I answered wrong, he'd beat me. <laughs> Sorry. I could have killed him with my own two hands. I wasn't... No, wait. But I kept thinking it was all a test. It had to be. I thought it was the price I had to pay to become a true wizard. I realize now he was just a sick, sick man. I was just going to say, like, his thing about getting fired with nonsensical questions, I was going to say, like, oh, like, any relationship, because just people always ask you random stuff sometimes, or, like, you know, when you, like, someone is constantly coming out with would-you-rathers, and you're just like, oh, I, I don't know, like, yeah, I'd rather be a worm, I guess. And then, um, it was the, and then he, he'd beat me, and I'm like, well, okay, maybe not, if, you know, that's not what you want it to be like, but maybe that part's not like a relationship. Um... Well, look, it's, uh, what comes next? I see things clearly now. If I wish to master the weave, I must do it myself. Thankfully, I have everything I need right here. Right, well, hell, Roland mastered of Ramazith's tower, then. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. I do indeed. I'll move Cal and Leah in immediately. Aww. The Roican refused to let them stay here. They are gonna love the tower. Oh, I like having a happy I ending have this, for them. The tower, my family. Mm. Without you, what can I do to thank you? Well, um, be my ally. And you'll have me. I'll learn everything I can about the tower in the meantime. Even if I have to rip this place apart. But know this. Ramazith's tower and its master are now your friends. And when the time comes, we will stand by you as allies. Nice. Got any... G uh Got any goodies? Any chests? Any anything? Nope. Not seeing much. Is this just the underneath? It's that mage hand. Why is there a mage hand squiggling around down here? Is that... Is that a cat? Or a random hat? Alright, through the portal. Quite the little boss fight there. I can keep going a little longer now. Right, Gale. Who are you here to talk to? A bookseller, you said. You make a fine 
This one back here. Oh. True books, are you sensitive? Oh! Um. Sorry about that. Look what you've done! By all the gods, I give my ear for the least bit of respect for the written word! Go act the clown on your own time. Come back when you've cobbled together. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Pay for the damages. We, um, look, I'm sorry. I understand about the books, okay? Here's 400 gold. That's better. How can I help you? Look. Tomes. Huh. Bold. You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Even Master Leverokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Carsis and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? Um, what is it that you need, Gail? I can't remember. It sounds like perhaps a Netherese folly to me. It is said to be written by Lord Carsis himself. Mm. The Netherese arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra failed and was banished for the attempt. Okay, that sounds like the one. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages. But not many can withstand it. That's it. That's what I need. The Men's of the Carsis would no doubt have much to say about the Crone's true nature. If only you could read them. If only. Well, um, how much to buy it? Buy? Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault. When none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. Why did you tease me with it then? Listen, I... Isn't it your job to share knowledge, not keep it locked away? At least tell me where the vault is. 18. Oh boy. Better save it. We've had pretty good luck with rolls so far, but that is a big ask. But 3, 2, 1, go. Feeling lucky. I was wrong. I was right. You know, you never know how things are going to work out in this life. Just keep going. Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. Rude. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, <laughs> you are not allowed in there either. Yes, there is the book that you seek, and this is what's in it, but no, you can't read it. It's in the vault. The vault, it's through there, where you would find the book that you wish for. But no, you can't go through there. It's like, listen, what are you looking for here? Imagine if a tome so dangerous was sold to someone with such poor comprehension. Well, thank you. <laughs> you certainly have. 
Even simple knowledge of these tones is enough to stimulate most. Through your office. And where is said office? What's an issue of Baldur's Mount Gazette doing in here? Upstairs, is it? Locked. Locked. Hmm. I wonder. Can we be seen here? I would assume so. Am I hidden? I'm not. Okay, so you can see. You don't say anything. How can I get in there then? Welcome back, dear patron. Remember that the great wizard doesn't suffer fools. Let your knowledge. Well, what if I ask uh, Roland? Oh, hey, man, you run this place now. Let me in. Right? Hmm. I won't hide behind lies and cheap tricks like the Roican. I will rule this tower as it should be. Right. Okay. Um, well, what if I hop down into your office from a balcony? Is there one I can jump off of? Ah, there's a hole here for a reason, I'm sure. Now, I did actually grab Grant Flight for Gale, just because I do like those in the Larian games, and no one else has it yet. So we're gonna ungroup me. Yes. Give me flight. Oh, I don't have it prepared. Well, that was slightly less smart of me. Show me your spells, wizard. Cannot prepare more spells. Can I? Uh, can we just do it like on the fly like that? Oh, wonderful. What to do? Flight granted. And fly. Pretty cool. You like sprout wings in um, Divinity 2. Although it might be Grant Wings. Maybe it wasn't Grant Flight. Following from a meeting, be warned never to touch Larokan's magic buttons within the tower. He alone knows which is where and mistake might prove deadly. What was... Are you okay? A wet mage's hand. Right. Well, let's fly through the window if we may. Mm, this does not look like an office. A weave button. Opulent chest. Golden arrows. The vaults. Ah. Down there. Beware the weave. Any more loots? A wizard's task list. I'll give it a shot. Sweep the main hall, remove Ramazith's personal effects from my chambers, placing such valuable tomes as the Annals of Carsus in the vault. Uh, okay. Where is the vault? Down, further down. Well, I guess let's push a button and see what happens. Wait. That's a security? Security. Security, you say? Ah, I shouldn't have pushed that one. Should I? Oh, dear. Uh, push it again. Surely that just turns them off, doesn't it? No. Oh. oh dear. You gonna do something? Right. 
This one says below. That's probably what we need. They don't seem to be activated yet. And what's this one? Clean up. And vaults. Ah! Ah! Right. Why did I click the one button that I didn't want to click? Why is this my lot in life? Hmm? Oh. Oh. Okay. Mm, what do we have here? High security vault number one key. Ah! Uh, You've made a grave mistake. Let me in. It's sturdy. Poor key. Gold ingot. Scroll of flesh to stone. Oh, don't mind if I do. Now, what do we have? There's robes and a staff. I mean, we'd go for the staff, I think. Ah, 20. And I don't have a boost. Let's see. We've been lucky so far. Oh my, what is happening? I need to buy a lottery ticket today. I haven't failed a single roll, what? Well, I, I don't think a single video has had two 20s in it yet. More for me. What was that? A legendary weapon. Four to 11, so it's less than my morning frost, but alleviate the arcane burden of spell casting. The power of this staff, the next spell you cast, doesn't cost a spell slot. Weapon enchantment plus two, a level four evoca evocation spell. I mean, it's a legendary. I'll rock that for a minute. Scroll of Sunbeam. Right, can I have both? Please, sir, can I have some more? Surely not. Surely, yes. Ridiculous. The game is just welcoming me back in. They're like, we haven't seen you in so long here. Have all of these wonderful rolls. A robe of the weave. Oh yeah, I forgot that I'm finding clown parts. Whenever the wearer succeeds a saving throw, they regain one to six hit points. Huge. All right, back above. Okay, so now I want to click the button that says Volts. Now be nice to me, turrets. Your master is dead. I am your mummy now. But also, don't take so long with your turn, please. Things to do, places to be. What happens if I click the clean up? Clean up, clean up. Oh, wait. There's gas now. That's not what I wanted. I need to stop pushing buttons. Right. I need to get to the vault one. Correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Can I turn that off? How am I gonna get there? <laughs> not sure why we're not being attacked, but I'm not gonna overthink it. I also don't know how I'm going to get back up without my wings. 
Finding all the loot. Finding all the wizard's loot. The wizard is dead. The loot is mine. Um, cloud kill. That looks dangerous. Can we dash through? Or over? I don't have a teleport, do I? Deep. Deep. Where is dash? To the vault button. I'm in a room. Once the turrets are done, just picture my party upstairs just having an ex espresso, probably. Sat in a bookshop. The sorceress vault. Final stratagem. That's not what we want. Whoa. Rubies. None of them were rubies. Corpse rose. Alchemical ingredient. Isn't that what I needed for that poison? All those. Or that time ago. In the brewed up belly glamour, yeah. Feels like forever ago, doesn't it? Call Blammy Governor. Okay, well we don't want the Red Knight's final stratagem, I don't think. Perhaps through here. Is what I seek. Didn't bring my thief with me. Come on, open up. Ten. Okay. The luck runneth out. And I have six tools. Just. Scroll of Circle of Death. Oh, there's a big old lever here. Right here. Well, well. I like this little solo mission. More scrolls. Um. Something over. A button. I know I said I'd stop pushing, but Scrolls, quills, books, hats, robes, wands, staves. Oh, this is a fl I th Okay, did not realize that was walkable. Such a new and interesting environment. Every time we find a new place, it's just... No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. But I have the key. Nothing's gonna happen to me. Wait, Silverhand, Elminster, Carsus. Huh? Ten. Got it.
think. Why my key not work? Lock picking impossible. Then what's through this one? Ah. So silver hand was the only one that opened, and now I have to pick. You know, you know who would have been good in here? Gale. <laughs> like I brought Gale with me for the specific purpose of getting this book, and then uh, just left him up there whilst I went in, and now I'm just a druid in a room filled with wizardry things where I have no clue. Marble plates. Oh dear. Illusion, evocation, transmutation, abjuration. So I suppose I have to think about what... Ah... Uh, just go in. Illusion. The Room of Illusion. Yeah. Cast is locked. Elminster. Right, okay, so... Silverhand. Oh. Evocation. Mm. Invulnerability. Yeah. Gate or wish. Uh, wish! Run! Oh my, stop! Uh. To Elminster. Unlock hereby the path to the Elminster ah. Vault. Oh. I guess we see if I succeed with a saving throw, otherwise I'm gonna have to reload. Near my big feet. I don't think I can get up, can I? Come on. <gasps> okay, so I self death, but I can't get myself up without someone coming to help. Gail! Rather than reload, come and get me, buddy. Oh, he's like, I think she might need help. Wait right here, guys. This makes a much better story than reloading the game. And then we get Gale with us, and he might have some things to say about being in here, might he? Might and he! Oh my god, the flight's so cool! Right, which one's the bolt one? Weave. Security. No, wait, I think it is that one right next to you. Vaults. Not a problem. He's just muttering to himself. He's like, oh dear, dear, dear. What's she done in here? Oh, what's that? The Red Knight's final stratagem. Hmm. Hmm. Come back for that later. He's like, Morphe. Where are you, darling? Gail, help. All right, on my way. You know, you really should have brought the wizard in with you if you were going to go messing around in a wizard's vault. Is more dangerous than I thought. Like, right, silver hand. Fine. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. Evocation. Now, you are in Whish. Should have brought something to, like, sort of put on this hot plate, but. Oh, then step on there. Bands to hold now. Come on. Up you get. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Take you. So 
That's opened Elminster's door. Now we just have to get Gale. Which way you step? <gasps> Run! Foresight. Oh. And that brought us back. Have I been this way before? Now Elminster's is open, but we would like to... Get the other one. Gate? No. Maybe it's a different uh, thing here. Try abjuration. Wild, shadow, silver, demon. Wild. D oh, did I say wild? I meant shadow. Dame Aelin has little to feel sorry about. The Roacan would have inflicted a far worse fate on her given the chance. Silver hand. Abadoration. Uh. Shadow. Or not. Abjuration. Do you know what abjuration means? Demon. Got it on the first try. No, right. Back to the Carsus door. Or maybe we go through here and see. Quite a feat of magical engineering. Sorcerer's Sundries likes to keep its secrets well hidden. The Elminster Vault. Well, Gail, what do you think? Some truffles. Oh, it's in here. Why is everything locked? I know it's past this. Twenty? What? That's not even the book we need. Let's have a look. All right, let's go back. Right, come on, Gale. Why aren't you telling me where to go? You're the bloody wizard. Transmutation. Oh. That immediately brought us back. Hmm. Silver hand. Transmutation. No, no, I just did that one. Abjuration. There was still one door left in here. Silver. But that's like where we came from? Nope. I. Right. Very good. Oh, there's a thing. Alright, can you just wait there? Ah, to cast us. Saved from disintegrate. Well, that's something to be thankful for. Let's get out of here. I need to hold on. Now, let us go back. into Carsus. The Vault. The Annals of Carsus. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. A book on Netherese magic. Gail may like to know. The Annals of Carsus. The preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. The truth of the crown, I hope. All that stands between us and enlightenment is the turn of a page. Here you go. The 
This isn't what I expected. This is much more. The crown of Carsus. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Right. A design you could follow, but also Carsus crown catch me up. Carsus, the child who would become a god. He was the most powerful wizard ever known. And he attempted to unseat the goddess of magic herself. Only she used the last of her power to block him from the weave. His magic faltered. The great flying cities of Netheril plunged from the sky. Carsus's folly. That goddess of magic was reborn as Mistra. She ruled on while Netherese magic was reduced to mere fragments of what Carsus once wielded. Hmm. Artifacts, the most powerful of which appears to be his crown. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three nether stones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. To what end? To every end you can imagine, and a thousand more beyond. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. I would look pretty good in a crown. You think Mistra will let you do this? I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. Well, pointing at himself as he said it too. You believe yourself to be that successor? Not until this moment. But I can't help beginning to see such a destiny unfold before me. All of my companions Powerful are going was, power crazy. Lack some advantages I can lay claim to. I know Mistra intimately. And I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Cast has achieved many things. Hmm. But he never managed that. Long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please. At least think on it. <sighs> well, I won't stand in your way. I mean... You know, Gale with the crown. I feel like I should get to wear the crown. Just saying. Uh, Astarian with Kazador's powers. We could end up looking like a bunch of superheroes. Gods on this earth. You know? Tempting. This is no passing whim. Trust me. If I can obtain that crown, it will affect us all. It's not a decision I'll take lightly. It's our future that I'm thinking of. Can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. For now, we've learned all we can. Here's your tome back. You proved to be even more valuable than I ever could have imagined. For both of us. No fate but what we make, my friend. A great par paradox among our kind, who so value the art of learning that we believe ourselves even cannier than the ones who came before. If envy is the disease of the artist, hubris is that of the wizard. Though I fear my warning will fall on deaf ears, I will say it again. The closer a wizard creeps to the domain of the divine, the closer oblivion creeps with him. I thought myself an equal to Mistra and devised a plan to make myself her equal. 
I would pluck one strand of weave and contain it within an amulet. I spent the better portion of my years devising. How regret instantly heaved itself upon my head. I was trapped within the amulet instantaneously and passed around from collector to curio hall for the better part of a millennium. Only now that I am freed, with barely the strength to hold my quill, can I leave this final warning as testimony. I mean, Gale, that's uh, that's a pretty stark warning, Gale. I'm going to be real. I'm going to take this gold chalice, Indiana Jones style. You ink some of these, uh, you know, probably antiques, probably worth something if you're in the vault, aren't they? Have some of that, thank you. Ooh, foe breaker. What is that? Two-handed maul. Send it to Karlak. Well, well, well. Yoink. Alright, we'll be going now. Ah, I don't suppose you've got a little teleportation spell to get us back. Wait, maybe this, maybe this portal goes somewhere. I mean, it goes somewhere, but maybe somewhere that we want? City. Ah, we're back in Sorceress Sundry. Oh, we're in her office. Right. Probably best I don't. Uh... Ah! A chest key! Well, could have used that, couldn't I? As you refuse to speak to me following the incident with the Three-Eyed Man, I have no choice but to make my request in writing. Master Luro can instruct you to bring his newly acquired lamp, the one with the gin, to the vault to store it beyond, behind the protective wall. A gin? Far too dangerous to be left on display. Requested the term of divination spells be brought to the basement. Oh, there's a... Behind a protective wall. In the vault. Does anything look out of place? Um, let's try and get this book if we can. Wait. Ah, lockpick, yes. Oh, it's a 20. Come on. We've been so lucky today. We've been so lucky today. So, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. That was bloody close, wasn't it? If only I'd had a little darling here to give me some guidance. Come on. Right. Got it. Nice. With my last bloody tool, I need, uh... Need another one now. What's this one, Gail? The pages are covered in esoteric symbols, strange runes, some indecipherable but strangely familiar. Your eyes are drawn to one page describing a long lost book, the necromancy of Thay. There are secrets of life and death known only to the Red Wizards. Committing such secrets to parchment is a risk they are loath to take, lest the unworthy gaze upon them. Who better then to guard their secrets than the spirits of the jealous dead themselves? To look upon the necromancy of Thay is to risk madness at the hands of its spirits. But the wise traveller who can tread the line between life and death will find knowledge witnessed by precious few mortals. The rest of the entry details the precautions and risks associated with reading the text but lays out a clear path to unravelling the secrets in the tome. Quite some valuable knowledge hidden between these pages. Right. Uh, so, like, can I take it, or...? A withering. Your constitution score is reduced by five while cursed by the warp dark... Why am I nuts now? Gail, help. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, I... A book cursed me. Help. I can't even take it. Oh, wait, wait, no. Uh, yep. Okay. Right, great, wonderful. Don't waste the step. Constitution reduced by five whilst cursed. How do I uncurse this withering? 
Right, now let's leave. Back to the gang. I'm sure she won't mind if we just come out of the office. Surely, surely, should be fine. There's an open from the inside, huh? Can't keep me out. Hit a 20. On my reload, nice. God, three 20s today. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Technically, we're leaving a restricted area. 12,000? I'm just going to be on my way. Thank you. Bye-bye. Better go collect the others. Right, everyone together. We're back. Hello, 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 hello. Miss me? I expected Night Song to be overjoyed after killing her fair haired fool. Instead, she just seemed tired. I do wonder what's happening there. Worried you'll feel the same after you kill Cazador. <laughs> Hardly. It's going to be the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> the blood, the screaming. Such a child. <sighs> just thinking about it makes me smile. Did you want something? If not... Nothing to say, no? No one? What can I do for you, my friend? Okay. Right, let's, um... I think we all deserve a rest, don't you, after that? Let's see what she made of that. What's up for discussion? Ah, uh, ally mine. We are reunited once more. I am a mess. I was mess. just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. Well, I hope you can rest easy now. I always do. With darling Isabel by my side. Enjoy the spoils of your victory. Spin memories of Laroican's death in your mind like silk floss. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. To sleep. So they're off to help some people. I need to get some more camp supplies. We have rested. Very well. On to Cazador's then. Ah! Elminster? Elminster? Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull durian <laughs> Yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of emporiums, sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? Great camera angle. Um, oh, nothing in particular. Charms here, potions there. Uh, is that so? Well, 
Far be it for this doddering old archmage to pry into another man's shopping bag. Oh, uh, as we're here, I shall offer you a morsel of general and non-specific advice. Yours to apply to any relevant knowledge you may have recently acquired. Some things are best left broken, and some people are well worth restoring. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mistra knows you defied her, Gail. But of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. <gasps> We're gonna meet Mistra? She will grant you an audience at last. Okay. Sounds good to me. I'm curious enough to make the attempt. All right. An audience with the mother of magic, it is. Perhaps. Perhaps that should have been your mission right from the start. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. Wow. So all it took to get Mistra's attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. Well, she's scared of you. Not scared, not yet. But she's shaken if she feels the need to intervene directly. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. I agree. After you. Guess you're sticking with us for a little bit longer, Gail. Thanks for watching. That's why we put a pin in this one to get ourselves back on the road with Baldur's Gate 3. There are some videos on the screen if you want to go on another adventure right now, and hopefully it won't be as long between this one and the next one. Fingers crossed I don't get sick again. Um, bye.